Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we will be analyzing the two top cryptocurrencies which are Bitcoin and Ethereum. We will see where they might move over the next uh, weeks and months. Please subscribe to our channel if you want us to keep releasing technical analysis for free. Well, if you want to receive our real-time alerts and our training signals generated by our robot, then you might want to join our growing community on Patreon. You will find the link in the description field. Let's start with Ethereum against US dollar on a daily basis, which means every candle is a daily one. As you all know, I've been detecting uh, nice uh, cyclicity for Ethereum. So in the upper section, we see uh, the price action, the price inside the two envelopes, uh, and of course, the one major cycle and two minor cycles that we will be analyzing in a while. While beneath, we see the two cycles, Magnus 1 and another kind of cycles where I've changed the parameters in order to get rid of the noise. Let's start analyzing the uh, upper section where we see uh, the price section uh, and where we see uh, the two cycles, okay? Uh, so, in one of my famous uh, posts, in one of my famous predictions, I was uh, actually um, suggesting to buy Ethereum already in mid-June, of course, mid-June 2020. Uh, Ethereum will be a buy in mid-June when we will see both the two cycles in the Russian case. As you can see here, that was a great call because at that time uh, Ethereum was worth 230 US dollars. From there, we have uh, uh, we have hit the top at 2000 US dollars. So, what is happening right now and what we should be expecting over the next uh, weeks? So, if we analyze the major cycle, um, right now we are inside at the center of the major cycle, but we should know, we should be aware that uh, during the ascending phase of a cycle, the ascending phase tends to uh, be longer than the descending one. Okay, uh, now what we have experienced here is that the minor cycle uh, hit a point of low uh, actually here when exactly uh, so we have seen we have experienced the point of law with Ethereum hitting 1300 US dollar. In other words, even a minor the minor cycle worked perfectly. Uh, right now, what is happening is that we are starting the ascending phase of the minor cycle yet. We are at the middle of the uh, big cycles, and actually, at a certain point, we will see that both the two cycles will be in their ascending phase. So, so right now, we have a plus here and a neutral here, okay? Uh, while in June and in July, as you can see here, we will see both the two cycles in their descending phase. So, what we can understand from the analysis, from the chart analysis, okay? Definitely, uh, if you are holding uh, uh, Ethereum, I would suggest to uh, move your stop loss above your entry level. Actually, it would be better to use a training stop. Uh, Ethereum will be a full buy, a strong buy here in um, November, December 2020. When the, actually both the two cycles will be again in their ascending phase. Okay, so uh, November, December will be definitely a great uh, moment for Ethereum to buy uh, to buy the asset. Okay, while uh, the, the end of summer and uh, September, October, November will be uh, the, the, sorry, September, October will be two very negative months for Ethereum. Now, if we analyze the uh, Magnum cycles, we see a top which actually happened at 2000 US dollar, and same here. These cycles for this cycle, I've changed the parameters in order to get rid of the noise. So, let's come to a conclusion where Ethereum is going to move over the next uh, uh, weeks. Uh, definitely, <clears throat> the minor cycle is going up, uh, while uh, slowly the major cycle will be uh, weakening itself. Okay, so uh, I do believe. <clears throat> Ethereum might move horizontally over the next days. Uh, for now, uh, 1,300 US dollars, and this is the positive thing, should uh, hold the position, at least for now. Uh, but uh, going on with, uh, with the weeks, I'm quite pessimistic for Ethereum. Uh, let's say that the majority of the big movement for Ethereum has already been uh, done. This is the conclusion that we can retrieve from the analysis uh, of the cycles, okay? So, uh, minor cycles, we're going up. Uh, for the major cycle, we are neutral because here we are horizontal. But uh, with the next uh, weeks, uh, let's say in April, uh, we will be starting the descending phase. Uh, 
uh, in other words, uh, uh, Ethereum might move up for the next uh, uh, following days, uh, but slowly, slowly, uh, we should be selling our position on Ethereum. Okay, uh, now let's switch uh, for a while to the weekly chart in order to understand where we are. Okay, the cycle so here in this weekly chart, we are still up. As you can see here, with the red curve is still above the Azure one, and same for the Magnus cycles. What is interesting right now is that the price is still outside the envelope, uh, which is a negative signal. Uh, in other words, uh, uh, the price should be uh, going inside the envelopes. Anyway, 400 US dollar uh, will be a great uh, buy entry for now. It seems to be very, very far in the time right now, but. Uh, it might happen at the end of the summer. Let's start with, uh, let's move to Bitcoin. Bitcoin here, we have a weekly chart. Uh, what we can understand for the weekly chart is that um, the previous cycles was lasting two years, let's say for December, from December 15 till uh, here with the cross in December 17, January 18. Okay, so exactly two years. Where we are right now, where, where we are right now is actually the, the ascending phase started uh, of the, here of the white curve for the Gauss curve we started in, in June 19. So two years will be actually between June and uh, August 2021. Okay, uh, even in this case, uh, it seems that uh, um, probably, uh, uh, well, not probably, but surely uh, we have already experienced the majority of the uh, uptrend. Uh, so I do not believe, I do not expect Bitcoin. Uh, um, moving up for uh, many many other uh, weeks okay so the window is June uh, July even for Bitcoin uh, after July we should be considering the idea of get rid of the asset and move to other uh, more promising uh, cryptocurrencies okay so in any in any way anyway in any case uh, the red curve is still above the azul one uh, the for the magnus cycle the white curve is above the upper uh, uh, threshold uh, but what is negative here is that the price is absolutely at, outside uh, even the upper uh, envelope we all know that the envelopes uh, contain the 95 percent statistically speaking of the data and as when, when happened in the past the previous bull run we have seen the price uh, once the price was outside the uh, um, band going to hit the lower band at 5,000 US dollar. Now the lower band right now is at uh, is passing by at 16,000 US dollar. This is something which will not be hit uh, over the next weeks, but uh, it's something that we might see uh, in uh, late summer where we can project the envelope at this level between uh, let's say 25,000 US dollar. It's a realistic target for the end of summer, uh, beginning of the autumn when I do believe Bitcoin will be uh, falling down in a very strong way. Uh, so from the analysis of the Bitcoin and Ethereum, what we can definitely state is that uh, we have already experienced the majority of the uh, bull trend. Uh, we will be now lateralizing for the next uh, weeks. Um, for Bitcoin, definitely, if we break above the uh, 60,000 US dollar, which was the all time high, we are definitely going to hit. 80,000 US dollar for Bitcoin, okay? Uh, so if you are holding uh, Bitcoin, uh, again, uh, same suggestion for uh, that I gave for Ethereum, uh, move your stop loss above the entry level and uh, be aware that uh, uh, the current bull trend uh, under a mere cyclicity point of view will be ending uh, around June, July 2021. Thank you, guys.